Hey guys and welcome to a brand new series. This is a series I've wanted to do for a really long time and yeah, I think we should jump right into it really. Uh, we're going to be playing Wrath. Uh, I've got a few mods on, but you know, it's just uh, to make the game a bit more enjoyable, speed up processes, stuff like that, add a few new things. Um, I am actually recording the audio after I've recorded the gameplay because... <laughs> Uh, yeah, unfortunately my audio file just vanished. <laughs> I clicked stop recording as I normally do and it just didn't save the recording at all, which is uh, yeah, a pain in the ass. So I'm sorry if like, I say things and it's not matching on screen, just that I've kind of just got to watch the video and kind of go over what I can see. Um, yeah, but... Um, <laughs> God, it's a nightmare, honestly. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for my new microphone to arrive, so at the minute, obviously, I'm recording on my PC. Um, I'm recording audio on my mobile and transferring it over and stuff like that, so apologies for quality and stuff like that. Not much I can do about that currently, but I have got it. I've got a solution in the works, anyway. You know, things will be better when I've got my mic. But let's get into the game. As you can see, I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, <laughs> throw my line, not, um, not able to get things. But yeah, one of the mods I've got on is more trash, uh, trash redux or something like that. I think it is. It just basically, it, um, it just increases trash spawn. So instead of me having to spend, say, so many hours, say three hours collecting trash, I'd really only need to spend like an hour. <coughs> Which it, it's good for for content creation purposes, really. Um, you'll you'll see. Uh, I, I, I'm new to PC. <laughs> uh, if you watch my Go Medieval like test video, yeah, I explained how I'm like new to the whole keyboard thing. Um, and for some reason, I'm throwing my hook for things that are next instead of clicking E. It doesn't stay that way throughout the video. Don't worry. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the game. I've, I've, the last time I played this game was in its like alpha release. Long time ago. Oh, I think it was Alpha, anyway. Yeah. All I know is it was a good five, six years ago last time I touched this game. So a lot's changed. Or at least I've seen a lot's changed on it. Uh, I've watched a few YouTubers play the game more recently. I think the last one was a couple of years ago. Two, three years ago. So obviously I know there's been changes since then. Well, exactly why I've jumped on the game. You know, I've got my PC. It was this, this and the Forest were the first two games I installed. Like, <laughs> two games I've been really wanting to jump back into. And um, obviously, having no PC, I didn't have the opportunity to do so. But I mean, I'm excited to, to be here now. So, as you can see, <clears throat> I'm just expanding the raft. You know, it's really the first thing you want to do is expand your raft a little bit. Give yourself some breathing space to place down your purifier and, like, your. I'm just going to call it a barbecue. It's not a barbecue, it's like a cooker, but. I know you can get actual barbecues in this now, which is great, but we'll call it a barbecue for now. <laughs> so yeah, you want to, so I'm just kind of, yeah, expanding my place, you know, I want to, I want to have one panel between the shark and whatever I place down, <clears throat> which is obviously, anyone who's played the game will know it's, it's really what you want to be doing. There's nothing more disheartening than if you build stuff, put it down, then a shark just decides to take a chunk and you lose your chest or you lose your purifier, like, it's disheartening, but not, they're not hard to make, but you know, <laughs> it's it's an extra couple of minutes you don't want to be spending having to regather materials and supplies and stuff like that. You'll notice on this, um, <clears throat> I kind of forgot which side I'd built the panels on first, so I was having a little look around it where the trash was coming from because I wanted to kind of work out where was the centre so I think I placed it on the right side there anyway <laughs> because obviously the centre, like obviously you're always going in a straight line essentially apart from obviously you can go off course and stuff like that but um, you're always essentially going in a straight line and the centre of the trash is on is always the centre of those first four blocks, like the first four raft panels that you start on so that is the centre, so realistically you want to keep that central and build equally on each side. 
So that's what I'm trying to do at the minute. I realise the shark's coming, of course, we prefer to spear, which is one of the first things we've done. And I'll apologise, you'll see in this, I do not always hear that shark. <laughs> uh, let me just tell you, <coughs> there are cunts. They are cunts. There's five of them each day. Five sharks spawn. So, um, you can kill one, but there's still four more to kill. Now I've got a few fun mods on this, I've got, a f uh, I've got weapons mods, uh, just guns, stuff like that. They're not easy to make, so it's, you're not going to see it for a while, the first, good first few episodes anyway. You're not going to be seeing them. Don't know why I threw that hook then, there was just no need. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff, I've got a solar panel mod, that's great. Um, I think I've got the battery percentage mod on as well. So that just displays above the battery how much battery is actually, like how much power is left in it because there's nothing more annoying than having a battery and not knowing how long it's going to last you. <laughs> so we've got that so we know, we've got solar panels, you can recharge them. Again, none of it's easy to make, you know, it's it's all later game stuff. And obviously we've got our guns as well. We've also got a more storage mod, that's great. It just looks fun. I've seen it on um, the mod page on the Wrath Mod Loader website I think it was. I can't remember what it is. The RML website, anyway. And, um, yeah, it just made me laugh. I've seen a Minecraft chest and stuff like that, and it, it, it gave me a good giggle, so I thought, you know what, we've got to get this. The storage is a problem on this game, I will admit. It's um, a bit of an issue. You'll find that um, a lot of the time, your inventory is just full of junk. <laughs> and it might not be junk that you need that moment, but you'll need it eventually, so it's just nice to have some more storage options. So here we are, we're going to get our purifier. Important thing to do. I'd always prioritise your purifier over um, making a grill. There we go. I know to remember the name eventually. It only took looking at this to remind me. <laughs> but I'd always recommend getting your purifier before you get a grill. Just because in a real survival situation, water's a lot more important than food. Oh, you can last a hell of a lot longer without food than you can without water, so... You know, I can see, obviously, they've tied that element into the game, which is nice. <laughs> yeah, clicking the wrong buttons, you know. Of course I am. <laughs> I actually misread this when I was playing the game. I thought it was telling me to eat it, and that's why I put the plank down first. I was real confused. <laughs> it takes me a while to get my research table, I warn you now. Um, again, just completely forgot I needed it. These, so you see them little things out there, little, like, boats. We're going to start visiting them in real, real soon. Give it a couple of episodes, but definitely going to start, <clears throat> start exploring, so to speak. And if you're lucky, you might see me explore a little island at the end of the video. But, um, you'll have to, obviously, watch the video to find out. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see there, you've got a rifle. For some reason, the mod creator added a Fortnite assault rifle. I'm not a Fortnite player. Don't enjoy it, if I'm being honest. It's not for me. Great game. I respect what Epic Games have done, but it's just not my kind of game. But obviously, the, the person who created the mod obviously likes Fortnite, so... We, did, we definitely are going to create the rifle eventually. <clears throat> There's a few other guns as well, I'm looking like, you know, they look like it could be good fun. Oh, you need a lot of explosive powder and metal ingots and stuff, so it's definitely a later game, a later game thing. Now, we have got some... Oh, oh I lost my train of thought. <laughs> what was I just thinking about? Yeah, it'll come back to me. <laughs> now, there's, there's obviously there's a lot of things in the game I, I just don't remember from other people's series and from when I played it myself. Obviously, a lot of the stuff in the game wasn't actually even in the game when I started playing. So, um, it is, you know, it's a bit of a learning curve. I'm glad I already know some of the basics from the past and as such. Uh, despite these people never seeing this video, I'd like to give a shout out to Zerka and Mini Minter and stuff like that. You know, they were the, they were the, the original people that I ever watched play this game. Love the series, you know, they actually made me want to buy the game which is why i bought it a while back you know and then eventually now i've got a pc i can now play it myself the only other time i played it obviously our friends ours and stuff back in the day 
Ocean, so it was very nice. And I sort of thought I wanted to have a chunk of my raft and then realised I didn't remember how to repair the raft. <laughs> so I spent a good minute and I was just kind of pitting it thinking why is the not going up. And I didn't open my eyes and see the big plus button at the bottom which is the repair. <laughs> Some things you just don't remember. But don't worry, we do, we do manage to we do manage to fix things up a little later on. I try reselecting it, thinking maybe this is how you do it. It's not. <laughs> I'll let you know now. It's not how you do it. But um, yeah, we get there. We get there. So obviously, we're gonna need a more stable source of food. It's one one of the first things you kind of realise early game is beetroot and potatoes. Don't do shit. <laughs> I mean, they help you out a little bit, obviously, but um, they're not ideal, so... Yeah. We um, definitely need to find a more sustainable source of food. So we do we do get around to fixing that shortly, so that's not, not too much to worry. <clears throat> now, as you can see... I've got a mini map, got a, that was a great little mod I found. It just you know shows you what's around. You can zoom in and zoom out with the plus and minus button on the keyboard. Absolutely great. Uh I've never seen anyone else actually use that, at least to my memory I haven't seen them, but I thought, you know what? I wouldn't mind getting this mod. Like, it's not really much of it. it doesn't really give you an advantage in the game. It's just kind of well, I suppose it might do, but to me, it was just kind of like a nice little cosmetic addition to the screen. So there's a bit more going on for you guys. <clears throat> you know, I, I, I'm one of them people I like to see a lot going on. I mean, if, if there's not a lot going on, then yeah, I get a bit bored. <laughs> nah, but it, this is a great game from what I've seen from developers and stuff like that. You know, they're making, you know, keeping updates rolling out and stuff like that over the years it's 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 great to see a company a games company that's actually keeping their game alive you see with some of these larger companies they, they don't they don't do a very good job <laughs> you know rolling games out half complete and then updating them over the next five years to get it to the point where it should have been when it was released <clears throat> well, that's that's where i like steam and i enjoy steam because you know a lot of the a lot of the people who create games and publish them there you know I, i'm not saying all because you know, i know what, there's quite a few games that i've got their issues but quite a few of the games creators actually do care about the community and about the game they want it to work they want people to enjoy it and, as such <clears throat> but yeah we i just seen on the screen a moment ago i finally got the research table <laughs> i tried to stupidly research potatoes even though you can't research food in the game as far as i'm aware I think later on I try and research beets as well for some reason. <laughs> and fish. <laughs> but yeah, we, I did also forget to research planks, which is arguably the most important thing to research early game. It gives you access to a lot more, but again, we fix that a little later on. Now this is going to be a series, you know, it's something I'm, I, I, think I've, I think I mentioned before. I'm, I'm kind of hard, hard, half losing my train of thought because... I had this conversation like an hour ago when I was when I was recording the gameplay, so it's hard to remember what I said then and what I've just said now. Like, but we'll get there. Hopefully, we um I don't have any more issues with my recording software. At least I pray. I've made a lot more space storage space on my phone. <laughs> so I'm recording the highest quality it'll let me, and I think it, the file was just bigger than what I had space for, so it just deleted it. Instead of prompting me to delete stuff to make space. But this one definitely shouldn't delete. <laughs> so I need to um, crack open an energy drink. Have a little drink. I'm rather parched. Jeez, but that's the first time you've ever heard the Scouser say parched, isn't it? <laughs> Nah, I don't have a I don't have a strong accent. I've lived all all around the UK. <clears throat> I've experienced many different cities, many different cultures. You know, it's um, something I enjoy doing. You know, it, it broadens your horizon, allows you to see things from other people's point of view, how things are in different cities, and all that shit. 
great thing to do if you've never done it. I, I advise you, you travel around your, the country you live in. It's, it's tiring, but it, it really is. It's culturally, culturally amazing. I really couldn't say that word then. <laughs> yeah, you can see we're doing a bit of fishing. I didn't hear the shark. Um, <laughs> as I did warn you, I don't always hear the shark. But um, yeah, we got ourselves a fishing rod anyway. Get some fishing done, which is definitely something we need to do. Fishing's a lot more sustainable than what beetroot and potatoes are. Let's just put it that way. Hell of a lot more sustainable. <coughs> yeah, let's get ourselves. You know, some base materials, try and build up stock and stuff like that. It's important to do. As you'll see in later gameplay from this episode, you'll see the mini map start getting used a bit more. Kind of show you. You can zoom out a hell of a lot further. You can zoom out further than what I end up zooming out as well. But <clears throat> it's just a great feature. <laughs> I know I'm going on about the mini map a bit, but. Uh, I really like it, but I've got to be honest, the fact that, you know, you make your raft bigger, you can just zoom out, and then it's not so big on the minimap, it doesn't cover the map screen. Love it. I don't know why it wasn't in the base game, but it really should have been. In my opinion, at least, anyway, it should have been. Uh, I think it's great. <clears throat> yeah, we're just kind of expanding our raft out a bit, you know. It's an important thing to do. Get ourselves... A bit of distance between important items and sharks. <laughs> I probably will end up remodeling the raft eventually in later episodes and stuff. I'll probably end up getting bored of it, chopping it all up and just starting, like, again, in to a sense. Because raft's one of them games you kind of... You're stuck how you build, in a sense. Like, <clears throat> if you build it in a certain way, then you kind of have to go off what you've already created. I mean, you can't obviously, you can obviously destroy raft panels at an axe and stuff like that. At least I think you can, I'm pretty certain you can. <laughs> so you, could, you can, you can remodel, the option is there, it's just... Because later on down the line, the way you build your raft really will impact you later on, because you need space, you know, you, you, you need to put a lot of thought into design, and I haven't jumped in creative and create a dream raft or anything like that so I am I am going off like the here and now kind of thing I'm just building as I go and seeing what happens really <clears throat> now we got we got ourselves some fish we got ourselves some potatoes <clears throat> potatoes again as I explained I don't really think they're that useful but well, fish absolutely brilliant so we're gonna we're gonna cook that up make sure we keep it on top of food and water until we can unlock obviously the better grills and the better purifiers and stuff we've just got to kind of work with the, the small capacity ones for now <coughs> as a british oh here we are as you can see we are we're working on the zoom now you zoomed out you see a lot more all them like little white bits that you can see there, it's just trash, you know, it just shows you the trash. I'm using the trash mod as well. Uh, don't know if I explained it now or explained it earlier, but <laughs> essentially it just it reduces like the spawn interval for trash. So I think I, I, I go through the settings a bit later and I actually reduce how fast trash is spawning. And I actually, I actually explained it, but obviously um, we lost it. I lost the audio file. Well, basically what it is, is so... I'll explain it now, so I don't have to explain it again later. But you have you have um, a trash percentage. So the percentage is 100% is vanilla. If you increase it to 150%, you cut how much trash is in the ocean by half. If you decrease it to 50%, you double the amount of trash in the ocean. Because 100% is the standard time period between trash spawning. So if you obviously cut it in half, you're cutting how long you have to wait for more trash. And <clears throat> obviously increasing it, as I explained, you're obviously adding more time. 
which is obviously going to cut the trash in half. So I think at the minute I'm playing on <clears throat> 24%, so it's spawning like, well, obviously 75% more. It works out about. See that? Now, this is something I still don't understand, right? So, these blueprints says they can be researched in a research table. I didn't hear the shark again. <laughs> Now I take these to the research table and it won't let me research them, so um Yeah. I don't know if this because I hadn't researched the plank yet. I hadn't put the plank in. But we're definitely gonna look into that next episode. Although the antenna and stuff isn't important at this stage, obviously you kinda need you kinda need it later on. So um yeah, we're definitely gonna need to sort that out. Now I will say, obviously, as with any game, you know, if you use a mod you're gonna you're gonna run into bugs and issues and stuff like that so you might actually notice how like sometimes the fishing rods not casting or it just randomly comes back or same with the hook you'll see in a little while trying to throw the hook and it just wouldn't the hook wouldn't leave my hand it was weird as shit <laughs> yeah but as you see it wouldn't let me research so i'm, I'm looking around and I'm thinking what's going on here and uh, no, obviously at this stage i didn't i didn't have any planks on hand to research so I kind of just forgot about it <laughs> so I've got planks there but I don't, at that point I didn't have planks there and then when I was in the table so it just left my mind at that point we've got a lot of palm leaves at this point so um, we don't need to pick any up for a little while definitely don't need to pick any up for a while <laughs> What I'm curious is hinges. Uh, when I when I played the game last, anyway, hinges weren't a thing, like, or at least <coughs> from my memory, hinges didn't exist in the game. And I can't remember for the life of me from other videos how you get hinges. I know you can find them in like barrels or stuff as a rare drop, and you can find them in chests and islands. But I'm sure you can create them as well. Maybe I could be talking out my ass though. <laughs> And don't worry, there is a, there is going to be... Ooh, would you look at that? I forgot about them. Yeah, but there is going to be a, an explicit content one on the video, don't worry. It is um, just my way of expressing myself with explicit language. And you know what they say? Swearing is a sign of intelligence. Just maybe not for me. <laughs> <coughs> Lovely British weather. In game, of course. Although, then again, it might as well be real life. This <laughs> is all it does in England is rain. <clears throat> Let's have a little munch on mackles. You can see it does so much more than beets and um, and potatoes, and it's it's so easy to fish. It takes so little time, and you know it's it's very rewarding. So we're definitely going to be sticking with fishing as our main source of nutrition. I mean, we'll pick up pineapples and stuff like that on coconuts. We'll still pick them up. Well, actually, we'll still eat them, but... <clears throat> when push comes to shove them, we need, like... We need shit. We need shit to eat. It's going to be fishing. It really is. <clears throat> right. Get this fishing done. I did not realise how big raw salmon is on this game. Jesus, my man had to hold it with two hands. <laughs> I, tried, I tried putting it on the grill shortly and honestly I did not realise just how big salmon was. <clears throat> now, I used to go fishing when I was younger in IRL. And I don't remember the salmon being as big as this one is. I've never been sea fishing though. Um, that is definitely something I, can, I would like to do. I'm not big on fishing but... It was an experience. As you can see, it spawned the lake 24%. I cleared the item just because I was on it. was a bit buggy. And I decreased how much trash I'm getting. I think I put it at 60%, then I quickly go back on it. And I changed it to about 84%, I think it is. And decided that um, I didn't want as much trash in the water. Not just for performance reasons, just the fact that I've had a base, I've had the start now, you know. I've had that excess of trash to start off just to get the base to save and spend two hours or three hours starting off, I only have to spend like half hour, an hour. 
Now, um, I don't need that much trash in the water no more, <clears throat> so I changed it all up. As you can see, it's a huge global setting, which is what I'm on now. Oh, is it? Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not going to disable the trash form itself because um, obviously I want trash. <laughs> Ah, I've just realised, this is the world settings I'm now in and I've got it set to use the global, so I need to change that for next episode, it, I didn't actually decrease, I was curious actually playing, because I was thinking, I don't see any less trash spawning, <laughs> I was like, hmm, maybe it's a bug, but no, it is actually just me being an idiot and not reading, <clears throat> we'll fix that for next episode though, definitely guys, don't worry, I don't want to use much trash in the water, in all honesty. <clears throat> so, so, I'm gonna carry on getting some, get some basic resources like our life and life and stock and stuff going on. We are gonna need storage though. So I'll get to show I'll show you very shortly you can see the different storage options that are in the for more storage. <clears throat> personally, well, personally I just downloaded it. And it added to the game, should I say, for the Minecraft test, because my god, that, it really made me giggle when I came across it. <laughs> you know, a game like Rafferty for the Minecraft test, I thought, yeah, it was quite, it was quite funny for me anyway. <laughs> it made me laugh. And then there's also some other options, so as you can see, you've got Minecraft chests, you've got barrel packages, which is the only thing we can actually call it make, which I, I am going to make, because as you can see, we've got 65 farms. Loads of rope and shit like that. You got crate, you got luggage, you know, etc. etc. So it's gonna be our first one storage. As you, you, you'll see when I open it up why I've added this. Because look at the storage space. I'm pretty, that's, I'm pretty certain you only get 12 on the base A on the middle of storage, on the small storage crate. I'm sure you only get 12. But as you can see, look at that, we've got 20 slots of storage. It comes in handy, you know. It saves us having 50 small chests all over the place of small storage. I'm just going to call them chests. Oh, good one. Right. Oh, I thought I'd the salmon for a second. I was about to say, oh, <laughs> look how big the bass is. It's not. <laughs> it's not that cool. I've still got the salmon on me, though. Watching this gameplay back is almost triggering me the fact that I haven't researched the plank yet. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, if you look just above, just above obviously the Minecraft chest that we've got, we've actually got our solar panel there. It's going to be great later on down the game, later game, or mid game should I say. It's not really late game, I'd say mid game. I mean, the AR 15s and stuff like that, definitely late game. <laughs> See, this is where you'll now notice how my hook won't throw and bugging out and stuff. Oh, I just have to kind of go off it, go back onto it, and it started working again. But we did miss a, we did miss a battle because of this, but we don't really know what we want out of here. Mark Trash has got coming in. I'm trying to keep an eye on the shark on the map, you can see the shark from moved out on the map. Okay. We're always heading north. We need to get some get some um, foundation down behind the um so as you can see it just clipped onto the foundation behind it. And I wasn't sure how the physics of the game would kind of work on that. If a shark took that panel and looked at that mount, I wasn't sure what happened to the research table. So there's... I didn't want to risk losing it and then having to build another one, which really isn't any yet. It's just an extra minute I don't want to spend. <laughs> but I try and research a salmon for some reason. I'm starting to check things I've already researched, because my brain kind of farted at that stage. Now you can see... 
exactly what we've got there, the solar panel, circuit board, stuff like that we need, so that's why I'm saying mid-game. We can easily make a bed, but I'm not worried about it at the minute, I don't want to be sleeping through the night just yet. You know, I'm kind of just having a little look through my door to watch, you know, that fishing rod, so spotted um, our arch enemy having a little munch out the corner of my eye. Haven't managed to kill one yet in this one, we will be, but we haven't done it just yet. See, right now it'd be nice to find an island. At this stage, I'm kind of thinking to myself, let's get an island, let's see what we can scavenge up, let's see what we can find, and go from there. But of course, yeah. Yeah, that's me trying to cook a huge ass salmon on a really small grill. If we put that away for now, we can cook that when we get like a large grill of barbecue looking thing. Um, back to fishing, food's important, you know, you've got to. You want to make sure you're stocked up. You've got enough food to last. With you. you don't really want to be at a stage where you've run out of food. So it's nice to just make sure there's stuff there. <laughs> now, fresh water is another story. Obviously, at this stage in the game, you're not going to have excess fresh water unless you make lots of cuts and stuff like that. It's a waste of resources, personally, in my opinion, at least. You know, this is where we see an island, and this is what I wanted. It's a big island, but quite a, a fairly sized island anyway. And I want to see what's in there. Well, we want to find it. We, we really want to find the chest of some sort, and it's not container. But we want to find the chest anyway, see what we've got. I was looking for hinges. Realistically, what I want are the hinges. <coughs> So we'll have to see what we get. But for now, you know, we're, just, we're focusing on getting a bit of fish just while we're slowly drifting towards the island. And then we're going to have to make ourselves an anchor to stop. <clears throat> Got ourselves some herring. Or herring. For people who aren't scousers and know, pe for people who know how to speak properly. I'm not one of them people. <laughs> Sorry, but um, some emails to check. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of drifting closer and I'm starting to realise I need to create the anchor at this point. I really need to do it because I'm starting to drift quite close. And there's my rod deciding to not. See, this is where it kind of just puffed out and it wouldn't let me fish after that for a minute. So I thought, let's get ourselves anchor for some reason I didn't go straight to the navigation page <laughs> we're going to place up the back anyway for now and we'll just spin it round and then it's just a matter of you know waiting to just drift a little closer <clears throat> now I know at this stage I'm already going to get hit I'm not getting to that island without being bit by the shark, I know, I know this, like, it's inevitable. <laughs> but we'll drop the anchor, we'll, we'll take a good few bites anyway, we're not going to combust if we get bit by the shark. <laughs> so we're just going to, you know, we'll, we'll grab the little things that are around, around us, like, you know, things that I want. Like, like the plastic, great resource to have, wood's easy to come by, but... I was just plastic in all honesty, but I, I like to have plastic on me, I like to have a, a good amount. So I picked up a decoration package, so I didn't know these were in the game. To be honest, I had no idea. And I was looking at it, I was like, what do we do with it? And then I realised, I'm kind of eating it. <laughs> but we learned an outhouse, something I'm probably never ever going to need. But we got an outhouse anyway. And we need to get ourselves some fresh water because we are starting to get low. We'll fill that up, you know, we can um, we'll whack some fish on the fire. We've got enough enough on us to go to the island and stuff like that for now. We're not in any rush. Well, I think it's time to go and check out this island, guys. I'm trying to remember the sprint button at this point, and I kept crouching. That was um, fun. The whole time I'm, I'm the whole time here, I'm holding the crouch button. I'm thinking, 
I know I swim slow anyway, but why aren't I running fast on land? <coughs> now we don't want no no uh, no flowers. We'll take a pineapple though. You know, we could, we could save our life in a pinch if we need food and water. Well, you know, just have a little look around. I can see there's a little a little trail up here, so I already know something's up here because you know there's there's, there's, there's obviously signs that it's, like the game's trying to direct me onto the like up here up up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't speak. The game's trying to direct me higher up the higher up the island. So we know there's going to be something at the top, but what's up the top? We don't know just yet. <coughs> I mean, it looks like a plane, and it is a plane. Now, I was a bit disappointed at this point. I was like, oh, we've got to fire the helmet. Is that all that's here? I was like, that is a disappointment. But then I turned around, I thought, let's have another look, and we find a, a crate. Now, we only got we only got bolts and planks, but we can research these bolts, so... Anything you can research is, is advantageous, you know what I mean? It's gonna come in handy. Now we might as well grab some more wood while we're here. Just say he's having to grab loads of water and stuff. We'll grab that now. <coughs> it's always useful to, to have wood on hand, you know, you use it to fuel the purify, you use it to fuel your grill, and you use it to repair your raft, build your raft and build with the right and I realised you can't chop down big trees I don't know if you can with a better axe but at this stage at least I don't think I can chop down big trees especially not with this axe so we start getting some palm, palm trees I wasn't sure whether this was a palm tree or whether it was a big tree so I kind of went through the leaves this big so I'm going to go and have a little look, have another pineapple on the way. They definitely can't chop this big tree, but I imagine if you could. Oof, the amount of wood you get is great. Now that I've now learned how to sprint. <laughs> so that's great. <coughs> Good to be able to sprint. Got ourselves more planks and palm seeds and coconut. Now I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to grow them in this series. Maybe, perhaps I might grow palm trees at some point. And I'm an idiot who jumped and got stuck under his rat so I get bit. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, eventually we're going to earn. I, I might, I might end up planting some palm trees. But things like potatoes and pineapples, I Probably, I'm probably not in a farm, if I'm being honest. Realise I've sold my inventory. Couldn't remember for the life of me what I'd already researched and what I hadn't. I don't know if I can actually research the scrap mechanic stuff, but I was just having a little read what it is and I put, I put it away anyway. Oh, doesn't see no pineapple, not bad. <coughs> now at this point I didn't realise, I'm like, wait, am I moving? And I got a bit confused and I was like, oh shit. So I'm looking for the cooked fish that I dropped on the floor which vanished, disappeared. Instantly just vanished. <laughs> so I got a bit confused, I was like, why is it vanished? What's happened? And for some reason I still haven't noticed I'm actually moving. Oh, yes I have, I think I've just seen it, and I'm now looking thinking, wait, why am I moving? And then I realised the anchor's gone, the shark's had it, he, he wasn't happy, he wasn't happy with the fact that um, we're, su we're surviving so far, he had to get rid of it. So we're going to need to repair that, and maybe we'll use a couple of anchors in future, just to make sure that, um, that nothing, nothing happens while we're exploring islands. So we're keeping we're keeping the food going, which is great. We're keeping ourselves fairly well fed. I'm not gonna say amazingly fed, but fairly. We'll munch a little pineapple just to boost us for now and both both stats. <clears throat> I'd like to see a temperature stat added to the game, but 
I don't think it's ever going to come, if I'm honest. I mean, obviously, a whole lot of things come with adding a temperature mechanic into the game. So you've got the whole then needing clothing and all that shit. And with clothing on this game not being something you can just craft, at least I don't think you can. Like, yeah. But this is now where I'm starting to realise. Like, oh yeah, there's me being an idiot. And I think now I'll realise, wait, hold on a minute. The planks are greyed out in my things. I haven't researched them yet. And there we go. <laughs> so only like 30, nearly 40 minutes into the video, we eventually research planks. <laughs> Excuse me. Which is great. We're definitely going to need to research ourselves some nails next time. That is going to be an important thing to do. Gosh, we've researched arrows as well. Got some bigger crops, more containers. <clears throat> and we got ourselves a better hook, because you need a better hook. It's more durable, it's faster, and like it says, it um it can extend further. <clears throat> like you can you can kinda tell I'm new to PC with the the way I just keep throwing things on the floor, it's I keep clicking Q. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know why I'm clicking Q, it's just for some reason my brain's clicking Q. <laughs> <laughs> so I just keep throwing things around, so I'll, I'll try and get out of that, of that habit. But yeah, this is um kind of where I think I'm going to leave it off anyway. I'm definitely going to make more, more episodes. We're gonna, I want to make this a series. And I'm going to try and get a good, uh, at least two or three episodes out each week. I'd like to, but I can't promise. You know, I've, I've got other things I need to do, other games I need to record and stuff as well. But um, yeah guys, I hope you take care, please leave a like and subscribe.